Yeah, 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 pretty yeah good, I'm yeah. pretty good. Yeah. We have we have Andrew Cole here from Cupka. And Cupka stands for Canadian Urethane Foam Contractors Association. C U F C A. You bet. -A. You bet. Foam Works, they are a Cupka certified spray foam insulation company. Absolutely. For 30 years, uh, Kafka has been responsible for the training, licensing, and ongoing field quality assurance of our spray foam members. Membership is not mandatory by, by government standards, but they do mandate that anyone spraying uh, a closed cell two pound material has to be licensed and trained by an accredited third party. We've always chosen contractors, subcontractors that are Kafka certified for those various reasons, right? For the most part, there's probably nothing that will happen to the foam after installation, but what you're worried about is during the installation. It's peace of mind to know that the, the the guy installing the material knew what he was doing in the first place, yeah. was fully aware of the CAN ULC standard. Contractors can't be cavalier with the material. Yeah. They can't think that it's bulletproof. It isn't. It requires skill and knowledge to use correctly. Some of the bigger concerns our industry as a whole has are with the introduction of a lot of do-it-yourself size propane cylinder. Right. We call that low pressure foam. It can still be two pound, but it's not intended for sale in Canada. The low pressure delivery mechanism is really not capable of assuring um, uh, on ratio 100% of the time. So it's not like it's not like the part we're using here. From no. this is a product that's made on site. Correct. So it's not you purchase it off this rack or whatever. So we were cautious about that. We were trying to keep this place warm enough so that we can spray it because there is that initial reaction of this hot chemical touching the cold foundation. The average consumer who gets those kits, they're not in the back of their head thinking about the temperature that it has to be applied at. They're not getting a density. No. Yes, they're not getting an adhesion test. Yeah. They're not getting any of that. It's really important for us to use certified subcontractors to do these kinds of jobs. We have never been interested in wanting to do any of the home no. spray foam kits. We've seen it in many of the stores. We're just like, it makes no sense to us. Any homeowner that wants to really build their dream home, they want to do this. Yes. They really want to do it, and you want to play by the rules to do this. We're quite fortunate in Canada that we have a national building code that is pretty much universally adopted. It's flexible in terms of how each province will meet the requirements of okay. their specific market, but but uh, you know the national building code gives a directive and does reference spray foam, um, two pound close cell material in in the code itself. So uh, I think we have a, a great system in Canada uh, to protect consumers. That's what it's all about, yeah. making sure consumers can get what they're paying for. And get yeah. what they're paying for, for sure. Yeah. Thank you very much, Andrew, for coming Oh, my out. pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. All right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Keep on building houses like this. This is a great project. <laughs> well, that's we'll, that's we'll, what we want to we'll do. There, so. We'll be there for oh, yeah. you. I just can't wait for the air test, because next thing you know, if there's any big hole, it's just going to be... <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh, <laughs>